are the explorers. We nurture a deeply embedded urge to find what is out there. There is a drive within each one of us, the drive to surge ahead, push the boundaries, and to explore. We have stretched across our lands, conquering the earth. We took to the oceans and realized that we could cross treacherous expanses in the pursuit of discovery. And then we took to the skies and soared. But wait, that wasn't enough. We left the planet and redefined what was once possible. We have etched our presence in space. What was once a melodramatic flight of fantasy became a reality. We build a castle in the sky, namely the International Space Station, that is our lasting home in space. For centuries, we've been wondering what was on the other side of the sky. And now we've begun to answer that question. We've realized that all the exploration humankind has achieved is for this moment in time, when new vessels will carry us, new destinations await us. Our nearest neighbors in the night sky have beckoned us dared us, invited us to reach out for them. And throughout our history, we've taken both small steps and giant leaps in this pursuit. Ladies and gentlemen, achievements in space exploration have been truly remarkable. A day may come when human beings will be able to expand and explore into the distant reaches of space and understand the universe and the life within it. We've been living on the Earth for a very long time now, and are thinking of relocating to another planet, or maybe somewhere as close as our moon. Imagine the life on moon. The very idea whips up images of interconnected biodomes, hovercrafts cruising over the pockmarked surface, spacecrafts to Earth and back again. Wow. When considering long-term space exploration, colonizing the moon isn't such a bad idea. Now, you might ask, why? This is because if we establish bases on the moon, that is, if we settle on the moon, we will be able to understand our new environment better. We will be able to expand ourselves into the solar system. We will be able to expand or explore ourselves to other planets, like Mars. Now, Mars is the most hospitable planet to human life. Even though it is farther from the sun and colder than the Earth, Mars does have some water in its polar ice caps and perhaps in its soil. Mars also has a thin atmosphere, mainly containing carbon dioxide. Scientists believed that billions of years ago, Mars was a much more habitable planet for human life because it was more warm and wet. Now, for humans to thrive on Mars, we need to change it a little bit. For example, the atmosphere has to be full of breathable oxygen, and the, the climate has to be warm enough to sustain liquid water. The very process of converting Mars into a more human-sustaining planet is called terraforming. Terraforming is a process wherein we will be injecting greenhouse gases into the Martian atmosphere to make it more warm. Now, you might be thinking, setting up bases on the moon, colonizing Mars, this is science fiction, right? But ladies and gentlemen, this isn't so far-fetched. In fact, we've already sent dozens of unmanned missions to Mars, like the Mars Viking, the Pathfinder, and the recent Curiosity. Well, no one quite believed that the scarily complex-looking sky crane would actually work. But here we are. Curiosity, the largest payload ever delivered to another planet, landed safely with almost all of its delicate systems intact. I might be sounding breathless, but here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 years from now, NASA will be able to send tons and tons of provisions to the red planet, and sooner or later, a manned colonial spacecraft. Imagine that. But there are many uncertainties facing our planet. With catastrophes in the past, present, and the future, life on Earth has become very fragile. So maybe setting up bases on the moon, colonizing Mars, isn't such a bad idea. It'll be giving us an opportunity to sustain human life, to expand and explore from more than just Earth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have stepped out of the ages of copper, bronze, and iron and ventured into 
the space age. My vision for the future is to see mankind use his unparalleled knowledge to expand and explore his presence into space. Thank you.